Welcome to the CBIS Visual Technology Automatic Software Update System. In this short training video I will explain how our new system works and how you can keep your programs up to date. But before we go into the features of the software I would like to show you some important uh, options in the software itself. The most obvious and important part is accessing the manual. You access the manual up here with the help button and that will bring you the manual of the CBIS auto update system. And the manual explains everything in detail. It tells you how our system works, how the various sections of the software application work and what you have to be careful about when using our update system. So keep that in mind. You always have access to the uh, online manual. It ships with your product, so it's already installed. Just press the help button and you're ready to go and, and read the explanations of the uh, features. Another important thing is the About button. The About button tells you what version of the auto-update system you're using. That might be important if we change and update our auto-updater as well. And that means you might have to get a new CBIS auto update system before you can get a certain update. But for now, you should be good uh, with the installation and with the version you have. Now let's dive right into the settings of our update system. When you go to the settings uh, menu, it will bring up a new dialog and in that dialog you can adjust uh, how the auto uh, automatic update system will work. You can decide, okay, I want to have a check every day at a certain time for a new version or you say, I don't want to have a check automatically, I will always want to do the updates manually. We do recommend, however, that you do an automatic update system because regardless if you need it or not, it will be automatically archived on your system and you can go back to any version at any time. What you can't do is if you miss or skip an update, you cannot retrieve a certain update. You always get the latest version from our system. So please make sure that you do not skip updates. Another option down here is if the update should be installed automatically or if there should be a prompt asking you if you want to have the new version installed or not. And again, our system archives the previous version so you, you should not worry about overwriting a running version. You always will be able to go back uh, a version or any version you have archived. Um, the next section is the user information. You need to have an account with uh, our web server at mycebus.com and if you do not have an account yet, please go there, create an account, it's free. Uh, we will register your product if it's not, not already registered there. If you have uh, purchased the software direct with us, all is fine, you already have the account. You just type in your user information, your password. We do store your username and password in an encrypted way in, your, in the Windows registry, so it should be pretty safe for any spying application or whatever. They will not uh, be able to use this information. And the advanced section will allow you to adjust in detail where the files are stored that are automatically downloaded from our server. Okay, now let's see how the update works. First of all, you should see your products, the products you installed and you own here in the product section. And depending on the products you have installed, with Final Render for example, you can install 2010, 2011 and you can install that in 32-bit and 64-bit. Right now on this uh, presentation we only have the 64-bit version, but you might even see four final render entries or even six final render entries. Also a final render upgrade, for example, will also update your final tune. You would not see an extra entry for final tune because in final render a final tune is included. So don't worry, this update will also update your final tune in Pyro cluster as well. 
You can always check uh, which version is right now the current and active version. So for that I'm clicking the uh, 2012 64-bit version of File Render and I see, okay, right now we have Service Pack 7 3.7 .7, and that's the active version. And when I select the version, I will get information about the version. So that's the base installation. So that's the first version uh, that, or that's the version before we introduce Service Pack 8 with the auto update system. The automatic up software update system uh, has to start somewhere. So what we assume is that you have already installed properly a 3.5.7 which is Service Pack 7A or 7. So regardless if you have Service Pack 7 or 7A, it doesn't matter. We start with that version. So the system assumes that you already have this version installed. So there's no archive, there's nothing. It's just the, the version you start with. And then we want to get now our first update. We would just go to the updates button, click the updates button, it will bring up a dialog, it checks with our update server and it will present us with the updates we want to download. So right now I'm getting offered the 2010 64-bit and 2012 64-bit updates. Let's say I just I'm interested in the 2012 updates so I'll keep the 2012 active. I have removed the checkbox at the 2010 version. The next thing that's important and you should always do is just select the version and it will show you a text, what has changed or information that comes with the Service Pack 8. So right now we can read Service Pack 8, 8 information. You will read more, much more detailed information than we have here right now for our presentation. But that's usually how it works. And then you can see and spot even if that uh, update is important for you or not. Another important checkbox down here is backup current versions before updating. We do recommend keep it let the system uh, do the versioning uh, of your uh, plugins. And then we just press the update button. That will bring up our next dialog. Now it's connecting uh, with our server soon. And what it does, it archives the existing version. So it copies everything, zips it together, puts it in one file called archive. And that makes sure, ensures that you have always a running situation or a version that's available for you. So we are now uh, downloading the new build. It's going to unzip it and then it's going to install. And that's all we needed to do. So when we now go back to our file render 2012 64-bit version, we see now, okay, we are at version 3.5.8. Again, we see here the information that came along with the update and with the advanced settings button, depending if you have pressed it or not, you can see what was installed and how the installation worked. And what we can see here is with our Service Pack 8, we see all the uh, uh, components that uh, make up a uh, final render installation. And the components right now are DR rendering, the core components, plugins, and also the final tune parts. You can adjust every one of this path to your liking. Whatever you want, you can adjust this path. And you can also adjust uh, the main root path so you can move all your plugins onto a network uh, drive and update this network drive. The important part is when you change the default values in here, where to put the updates, you have to manually create this man uh, this folder and you have to copy over into this folder uh, your plugins. When you have done this, all is fine. All the future updates will go into this folder and automatically be installed. And as I told you before, we have still our older version, release 3.5.7. That's now archived and you can see where it's stored. Here's the path and you have also the file name of the archive. 
So if you want, you can just open it, look into this archive and see what's inside of it. And if you want it, you can restore this version back and then we will use 3.5.7 again. Let me just do that right now. What it does is it now zips 3.5.8, so it zips uh, Service Pack 8, creates a new archive, stores the current version, and when I go back, now we have 3.5.7 as active, and 3.5.8 is marked as archived. And that's uh, about it. That's how our automatic software update system works. So it's pretty straightforward. It's easy to use. It keeps track of all the versions. It downloads them and you have full access and control over where the files go. And another important thing to, to take care is we will roll out more and more products that will go through our automatic update system. So uh, newer products, newer plugins will show up here in the product list along with the version numbers and then you will have no more hassle to get service packs and updates from our side. Thank you for watching this video and I hope this was help helpful for you.